if you're seeing my face, you already know what time of the month it is. Welcome to another episode of Hormonal Acne Diaries. This is the lowdown for the month of September. <sighs> I've had to tuzzle. I'm in the middle of a hair day. I made a hair mask to moisturize my hair because I've been having really, really dry and brittle hair. I'm trying to transition into not coloring my hair not doing all of the bad things that I used to do with my hair. And so far, I've gone this year without cutting my hair. This is the first year in a long time that I have not cut my hair. It took a lot out of me. I was, I was going through the mental battles, but I did not snip snip my hair. Gross. I want to start with honorable mentions. I want to say a huge thank you to Chicho for this month's honorable mention. I have been using Chicho's calming herbal cream, and that is for acne. When you have acne, you put it on it to calm your skin. But child, I've been putting it all over my face just when I feel like I'm having a really horrible skin day. And it's amazing. Another product I got from Chicho is their Boosting Serum. I usually use this serum after I do my skincare routine. I just kind of leave it on my face, go to sleep. Sometimes if I'm feeling real spicy in the middle of the day, I'll just like spray it on. I don't know, just just cuz. This month I experienced a lot. I always joke about people taking spironolactone that spironolactone is the devil's drug but it works. I had horrible, horrible side effects from spironolactone this month. I had increased heart rates. I don't know if it's like directly from the spironolactone, but a part of the side effects. So I'm conditioned to think that it may be, but I don't know, but I'm just going to and just slide it in there just, just in case, if you know what I'm saying. Another thing is that my periods were heavier than usual. I reduced the dosage of the spironolactone, but for whatever reason, my periods were just insane. The cramps, like they took me to the moon. And I, and girl, I was crashing out real bad, real bad. Usually when my period comes around, I am going through some sort of depression, but this time it was like times two. This time it was like for two weeks straight. And then I could not go to, why am I shouting? <laughs> so sorry. I bear at it for four days and I could not go to the gym for four to five days. And that was hell. The day after I got my period, I went to the gym because I thought it was just like normal. If my period comes, I'm able to go to the gym as long as it's not like the first day. So the second day, I'm like, cool, cool, cool. I can go to the gym. Like, I'm just not going to do any lifting. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to maybe do cardio, do a Stairmaster, do a little, you know, one, two, one, two. I got to the gym and baby, I felt like I was about to pass out. And all I did was walk on the treadmill for 10 minutes. So I was just like, this is odd. This is crazy. So I never went back. I waited for like five days. And then I went back to the gym. And when I went back to the gym, it literally took me a little bit to get back into the swing of things. And that has never happened to me before. So I just thought like all of that was crazy this month. And I just hope that this month never repeats itself. As far as like the condition of my skin, I did have... A little bit of breakout here and there but it was mostly like stress induced breakout and nothing like hormonal like as you can see just like little bumps they'll come and then i'll just like put the pimple patches on it and then after a few days it goes away that is pretty much the condition of my skin that i've been trying to just stay on top of it so that means that i cannot i literally cannot miss a day of skincare because if i miss two days everything comes back full force. I don't know what the science is, but that's how it's been. And I'm not trying to risk it. I think this pretty much sums up the update for this month. Like I always say, if anything else comes up, you know where to find me. Every single product I use for my nighttime routine, my daytime routine is always in the link in my bio. Those products always get updated. If I have new products, like when I do honorable mentions and I really, really love the products, they are going in my Amazon storefront. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Oh, no, I didn't do the kiss right. Bye-bye.